Hi everybody, it's Tom Gregory here and it's a bit of a windy evening so I've decided to stay in and do a bit of coding. So welcome to this video where I'm going to be making changes to an open source repository on GitHub and creating a pull request and hopefully getting that merged in. And the particular repository that I want to change today is called the Gradle Docker plugin. So it's a plugin for Gradle that allows you to really interact with Docker. And the things you can do with this plugin right now are create a Docker image, run that Docker image as a container, and also bring up an environment from a Docker Compose file, which I've been using the last few days. But one thing I've spotted that you can't do is stop a Docker Docker Compose environment. So just to show you kind of what I mean, um, let's have a look at an existing project. And in here I've got a Docker Compose file, really straightforward, just brings up a single uh, Docker container. And for example, I've, in my build.gradle, I'm, I'm importing this uh, plugin, com.palantir.docker-compose. And this plugin is actually kind of three plugins in one. There's the Docker plugin that builds an image. There's the Docker Run plugin that runs a container. And there's a Docker Compose plugin uh, that brings up a Docker Compose environment. But in this case, I can do Gradle, dub, Gradle W Docker Compose up. Oh, I've got a typo. Gradle W Docker Compose up. Build successful. And if I look at my Docker PS, now I've got something running. I've got a Docker container running. So that's great, but there's no way right now to do... So I can't do Docker Compose down, which I'd really like to do. Instead, I have to do Docker Compose down, i.e interact directly with Docker on the command line rather than going via the Gradle plugin. Normally it's going to bring Docker back down again, yet the process has stopped. First things first, clone the repo. So git clone, so I need to clone this repository. I'm going to open this up in IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so let's open workspace Gradle Docker, build up Gradle. Okay, this project uses Gradle 4.4, which is incompatible with Java 11 or newer. I'm going to take a quick detour now and download Java 8. Okay, so now I've got Java installed. This place adopt openjdk.net seems like the easiest way to get it. Uh, so I've just downloaded Java 8. I've configured Java 8 in my project in IntelliJ. And let's refresh this Gradle build. Open Gradle settings, Gradle JVM 1.8. Okay, well while that's going on, let's have a little look through the code here. I've never really looked at this repository, to be honest, uh, so first time for me. I am familiar with Gradle plugins to some extent, so I know generally what structure it's going to take. I know that Gradle is written in Groovy, which is why we've got Groovy in our source main directory here. So I'm pretty sure in, in this Groovy directory we're going to find the classes to do with this plugin. Okay, so we've got a few different classes here. This is the one that builds an image. This is the one that runs a container. And this is the one that brings up a Docker Compose environment, which is really the one I'm interested to change today. So let's have a look through here. Docker Compose plugin, this implements plugin, which is a Gradle class. This is essentially defining what happens when you do the apply plugin in your build.gradle. Apply plugin docker compose 
it's going to run this, which does this part here, which essentially is to create the configuration. Docker Compose extension is is essentially a class to represent the configuration that you can have. So, for example, if I go back to the README, let's look for Docker Compose file. Here we go. Here's the Docker Compose configuration you can do. You can set a template in Docker Compose file, and that maps directly to this class here. But I don't think we need to change that. So carrying on, it's creating a configuration, it's looking in sub-projects. But here we're creating a task called docker compose up and that's using a task docker compose up. Docker, it's going to be in here somewhere, docker compose up, here's the task. Oh, is it because I don't have a Groovy SDK installed? Groovy SDK is not configured. Okay, I'm going to take another quick detour and install Groovy. Okay, so I've got Groovy installed now. So anyway, where were we? We were looking at Docker Compose plugin, Docker Compose up, this is the task definition here and we've got a task action this happens when you execute this task all it's doing is an exec it's essentially running a command docker compose dash f dash f allows you to specify the docker compose file it's doing get docker compose file which reaches into the extension i.e. the config and gets the compose file and then does up and dash d is run it as a daemon process, run it in the background. So I think the change we need to make is gonna be really straightforward. We just need an additional task, docker compose down. It's gonna look very similar to this, but it's gonna do <coughs> docker compose and instead of up, it's gonna be down. Uh, and there'll be no dash D. It's going to be really straightforward. Uh, let's have a look to see what we've got in terms of tests for this because as a good developer I always like to start with a test. Okay we've got docker compose plugin tests. Interesting. Generates the docker compose do I can't speak. Generates a docker compose.yaml from template with version strings replaced. Okay. Let's look for like the most basic test. Actually, let's minimize this. We can see all the tests. I think this looks like the, the most straightforward test here. So what's happening? It's taking in a Docker compose file, which we're defining in line. We've got a service called hello. It uses an image. It uses the Alpine image, which is a lightweight Docker image. And it's running a command on that, which is just touch slash test slash foo bar baz. I like that. And it's putting that inside a volume. It's mounting a volume slash test into this current directory. Okay, understood. And then it's providing a build file, which is just the Docker Compose plugin. So this, this test is testing the Docker Compose plugin. And then it's saying when, so this is using given when then, I think this is using a framework called Spock in Gradle. When we do with, which is running Gradle, and it's passing, it's passing the list of tasks to execute, and in this case, it's executing docker compose up. Then file foobarbaz, <laughs> foobarbaz dot exists. So this is looking in, in our project directory. Um, let's not look into the details of that. Essentially, a file foobarbaz exists because we've run the touch command. That makes a lot of sense. 
So if I wanted to run this test, Control Shift F10, host mount slash C, file exists. This is a Docker for Windows problem. Ah, there is some Docker for Windows configuration I'm missing. Uncheck the box, run the test again. I've got a pop-up over here. Do I want to share the drive? Yep. Run it again. Oh, this is a different error now. Cannot create container for service hello. The container name hello world is already in use. Let's have a look. Docker PS. Docker PS minus A shows us containers that are stopped as Docker PS only shows containers that are running and we can see here that we have the hello world container that's um, that's been stopped but it hasn't been deleted. What I normally do in this case is if I want to run if I want to stop all containers is I do Docker PS dash AQ which just prints out the container ID and then I do exargs which basically allows me to run a command for every single line of output and the command I want to run is docker stop and it's going to provide this container ID so we've only got one right now um, but that's just something that you might uh, want to use at some point okay let's run the test again Failure. Container name is already in use by container starting with ID 2D. Docker PS. Oh, I did Docker. I did Docker stop. I meant to do Docker. Docker RM. Yeah, that's the one. Run the test again. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. It's passing. So we want to we want to be careful that we're going to create a test that is kind of self-contained. So I think what it's going to have to do is to start a Docker process using Docker Compose, the Docker Compose up task, and then bring it down and make sure that when we do Docker PS. Uh, that there's no containers running anymore, that the docker compose stop task has worked correctly. Uh, so let's change this test to docker compose stop successfully stops docker container. Docker compose stop successfully stops docker container. I think that kind of makes sense. Let's just try. I want to check whether if we run Alpine, it's going to it's going to immediately stop. So, for example, if I do Docker run Alpine, and then I pass it the command ls. Yeah, that's a really short-lived. That's a really short-lived container because it just runs the command, then immediately quits. What we really need is a container that sticks around for a while, uh, or rather runs indefinitely, and then we're going to run Docker Compose down to make sure that that stops. So is there any, any command we could give to this Hello World container that's just going to keep it kind of stopped? Or bash sleep indefinitely infinite sleep ah sleep infinity mm, that sounds nice doesn't it sleep infinity um, okay so if I have a if I run docker run alpine 
loop infinity invalid number infinity sleep 1000 invalid number infinity Ah, someone had exactly the same problem. Alpine Linux doesn't provide the full array of options. Instead, you can do sleep. I think this is an hour. It's just it's just while looping, sleeping. So it's it's going to have the same effect. But let's just run this command. So we've got a Docker container running, sleeping forever. Well, let's kill those off. Docker ps aq. By the way, if you are going to use this command, be a bit careful because it's going to kill any proce any Docker process you have running. Um, so just make sure that you haven't got anything that you don't want to kill. Mm. Xrg Docker first Docker stop, and then Docker rm. And then Docker Compose stops, successfully stops Docker Container. We're going to have a command here that does the sleeping infinitely. We don't need a volume. In this case, we don't need a volume because we're not checking. We're not testing this sleep, this container that's sleeping. We're testing the fact that we can bring that down again. Actually, running Docker Compose up is part of our given. Prerequisite is that we have a Docker container running, and the when is going to be that we execute Docker Compose down. And then the then is we're going to need to check. We're going to need some way to check the running Docker processes. So let's say we want a method running, or let's say process count. equals zero. That sounds fair. Process count equals zero. So let's actually implement that method, and we're we're going to put that in the superclass. Create method process count. Put it in abstract plugin test. Process count. And we need to do an exec. Exec. Oh, we already have an example here of something running a command from the test. So we can kind of piggyback on the same thing. I think for now we'll just create our own version of this and maybe refactor afterwards. So we want to execute. So in Groovy you can just do string.execute basically and we want to do Docker PS. I think we want to do. We actually want to do Docker PS dash dash Q. We want the small smallest amount of output possible, and then hopefully we can just count the number of lines in that output. So we run that, execute it. We consume the standard output and the standard error. We wait for it to finish. We also want to assert, assert the exit code is zero, and then return, and that's going to be sout dot any way to count the number of lines. Ah, sout dot read lines dot size. I think that should do the job. Let's run this test and see what happens. While this is running, I want to be able to see what's going on in Docker. So I'm going to run on the right hand side here, do watch docker ps. 
Okay, so let's run the test and see what processes come up during this test run. Okay, it's running the sleep. Perfect. So it's it has successfully brought up our docker compose file which um, is running a sleep command. Let's see how this test failed. Output docker compose down not found in root project. Well, that sounds about right since we haven't written the code yet. Now for the fun part where we get to write the code to make this test pass. So we want to jump into the docker compose plugin. Oh, this is going to be straightforward. And we want to add a task definition for docker compose down. Docker compose down. I'm not sure what this action is. I think we're going to need that because we we need access to the configurations that we know which docker compose file to reference. We need to define the docker compose down task, create class. Okay, that's groovy. Docker compose down. It's going to be very similar to docker compose up. So we're going to import some of the same stuff. We're going to use SLF for J logging framework. We're going to extend default task. We're going to have a configuration and a group. Configuration. This is going to be the default constructor docker compose down, which is going to set the group, which is just the way of grouping Gradle tasks. Then we need we need a task action, which in our case is going to run docker compose dash f get docker compose file. So we need these two methods as well. Get docker compose file returns the extension, i.e. the configuration doc, docker compose file, and the extension is provided by this method. Um, project.extensions.find by type docker compose extension but this time we're going to do down and then I'm going to run the test again and actually just quickly run watch Okay, sleep process is running. Oh, got a nice notification sound to say that the test passed. Let's quickly check what we've changed. We've added a process count method, which runs docker ps-q and it counts the number of lines. We've added a docker compose down task which runs docker compose down with the dash f of the compose file. We've added the definition of a task docker compose down that uses that task class. And then we've got a test which brings up a docker container that sleeps forever, checks that we can then bring it down and get a process count of zero. And the other thing that we're going to need to do is to fork this project. Uh, so in GitHub, I can just click fork our own copy. And that's how I'm going to create the pull request. I'm going to create a fork in my own repository and pull request from that back into the original. We're going to need to, we're going to, need to change the git URL. I think I need to say git remote set URL origin. There we go. So now we can commit this code as add task for docker compose down. 
push that to our branch. And now I'm going to create a merge request. A pull request, sorry. New pull request. Compare across forks, that's what I want. TK Gregory. Docker compose down. Before this PR, there was no ability to call Docker compose down from the Gradle plugin. New new task available. New Docker compose down Gradle task available in Docker compose plugin. I think that's a good summary. Possible downsides, none. It's all good. Okay. What's not to like there? Create pull request. I think that's all good and we'll just wait for uh, a reviewer that's been assigned here to take a look at that. Okay, so that uh, took a little bit longer than expected, which I guess is kind of normal in development. Um, but as you saw, we made a change to the Palantir Gradle Docker Compose plugin, and we've added the ability to run a new task, which is Docker Compose down as well, um, which is a small feature, but I think um, it's, it's gonna be a welcome feature, especially since somebody's already requested it in one of the issues. So let's just hang on here and see what kind of response we get and uh, I'll give you an update shortly.